Hello, I'm back. Um, sorry I haven't been with you for a while. I've just been tied up with um, work and family stuff and, and all sorts like that. And I just haven't been able to get out and do a proper video for a while. And while we're talking about proper videos, the other reason is I just haven't been finding enough stuff to do a video. So um, this video is a bit of a mashup really of all the clips that you haven't seen because um, basically if I don't find enough to do with that video on that day I just scrap the old thing and start again because um, what was it when I first started doing YouTube I made a little deal with myself that I'll always show true bottle digging you know like one day one day one dig um, everything you find is on the video the good digs the bad digs and everything in between but when I'm only finding one bottle in six hours worth of digging, I can't really make a video out of that. So, um, yeah, that's got scrapped. But, yeah, as some people do, like, or some YouTubers and bottle diggers and that, they'll, they'll do videos and they'll save all the best finds and they'll put it in one video. And, yeah, it makes brilliant videos and brilliant watching because they always find something fantastic and everything else like that. But... That's not what my channel's about. I try doing mine so um, you see a true day's dig from the rubbish to the good stuff. Do you know what I mean? That's how I want it because there's people out there who start this hobby and they expect to go on a tip and find all this amazing stuff. You know what I mean? It's not like that. So I always try and do mine true to a day's dig. But um, yeah, what else was I going to say? No cleanup video on this one because these are all the bits that I haven't really actually cleaned up yet because I've just stuck them in a box and everything else. So yeah, once you see these in the cleanup video, they'll be in my shop because again, my shop is empty at the minute. So um, yeah, that's enough of me rambling on. Anyway, let's have a look at some of these clips you haven't seen, eh? Ooh, nearly broke my phone. Morning, right, uh, new place today. <coughs> morning, right, um, morning, right, um, back on the same tip as I, right, I'm here, got all my kit with me now, uh, let me just give you a bit of a spin around. Now, I've got to be a bit quiet around today because I'm on a really <laughs> dodgy bit this is, um, if you can see behind me, where is it? Can you see that? There's cars going past all the time there. That's the main road there. So I'm literally about three foot away from the pavement where I am. So um, yeah, could be very quiet where I am. But uh, yeah, I've got my first bottle down here anyway. It's not much, it's only a little bit, but it's, to be honest, that's better than what I've been doing recently. So right, let's have a look at that. Let's go dig in. Right. There we go, as you can see, just a small hole at the minute, I'm literally just cutting the top off it, but unmistakable view of that is. Alright, so pull him out. Now being this close to the surface is more than likely going to be broken, but um, we'll see. Oh, it's not. Beauty. Lovely, lovely, a little poison. Actually, one of these for a while now. Which one is it? Half ounce. Yeah, I'm not grumbling with that. Hey, you never know, this might be the start um, of a change. <laughs> because, like I say, I ain't half had a bad stretch at the minute. But, um, yeah, 
that's um, a really really nice oops a nice first find getting going a little bit now as you can see I've took the brolly back down again because at the minute well it's not that bad but I'll keep checking it is gonna chuck it down a bit it keeps saying anyway but as for fines uh, hardly anything two sources and um, a little bit of a cup here or something I think I had a Lincoln on it or something like that I didn't know But uh, the ash here is just so dry. I think because of how hot it's been recently, I think the trees have just sucked all the, the moisture out of everything. But typical me, I've gone all the way down here and not found anything really. And it looks like there's a beer right up top there. Can you see it? Right there, so let's pull him out and see what it is. That's actually a little wine, I think. Yeah, this is like a plain wine. Oh well, thought it was going to be something a bit better than that. Some rat wobbles in the glass, look at them. But uh, yeah, that's that anyway. Carry on. This is hard work, this is. So much rubble and just junk in it, it's heavy. And, Hard to dig, you see the amount of capping I've got there. Ooh, yeah. Right, we've just had his first find. It's about time, you know, because I was expecting stuff to just come tumbling out of this place. But uh, this is quite an early tip, this one, too, by the way. So expect some goodies if they come out anyway. Right, here's your first one, anyway. Nice bottle. Lovely colour, one and all. But as you can see, the lips on these ones are not your machine made ones. So uh, yeah, there's your first bottle anyway. I'll put him out in the rain because it's get it out for rain all day long and might look a bit cleaner in a bit already. Look at this here. Something's telling me I think we're going to have a good dig today. That's a broken flat bottom Hamilton. I don't know what this is. It's bloody huge. Oh, I can see writing on it. Oh my god, that's the biggest bovril I've ever seen in my life. My god, it's massive. Look at that. Hang on a minute. That is an absolute monster. Bloody hell. I'll just show you the comparison with these two in a second now. There you go, that's the sort of comparison of what they're like. That's your standard normal size. And look at that one. Massive. <laughs> I think it's an early one and all that is. I'm happy with that, that's a very nice size. Just have this first find. Looks like a rather scary uh, machine gun bullet. Can you see that? Oh, that's completely wrong. Wait a minute, let me just move this around here for a proper look now. That bad boy. I never know what to do with these sort of things. I certainly won't be taking it home anyway. A right, here's your first bottle up down here.
nice little ink but if you can see that it's got some cracks in it I think the cracks anyway so um, yeah we'll probably leave that one anyway oh, man. <laughs> Cook house from Blackwell. That's it. Black house, sorry. Good hall, good hall and Blackwell. Yorkshire relish. Nice one. Stood the cork that well the stop should I say. So a bit of a, a weird looking thing. It's broken. Oh, so look, there was a piece when there, I'm guessing it probably linked up to a, like another one, a twin or something like that. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, I know what that one is. Lovely. I thought our fruit juices. Now these are alright. I get these at home, I want to find new stuff. You know what I mean? I don't want to be finding it. <laughs> The same stuff I find on the local tips. I want new, exciting stuff. But um, I'm not complaining anyway. Nice little bottle, guys. Right, I think we have a beer here. Oh. Oh. Yep, definitely a beer. I don't know which one it is. Have a look. That's quite nice. The Litchfield Brewery Co. Litchfield. <laughs> Beautiful, that's. Yeah, nice. And it's just starting to rain, which is actually nice because it's red hot at the minute. Right, this is what I'm on about, about this place being early. I mean, I've got an idea what this is already. It's broken, but I just want to show you the, the picture on this. Look at that. What a stunning beer. And I'll be absolutely chuffed if I find a whole one of those. Yeah, right, keep digging. Yeah, there's little pockets here and there. It's just full of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's worth a check, um, worth a check anyway. I say, um, you can see little bits here and there, but, what I'm interested in is this bit right here for now anyway. We'll give this bit a go here. As you can see, down here, loads of clay and stone, but right at the bottom now, can you see that? There's a little seam and I'm guessing it's going to go all the way along here. And this bit here, it looks a little bit deeper. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to grab my shovels out now, give it a little bit of a poke about and try and sort out where's best to go. Just have this. Um, where is it? Oh, it's a Mason's meat extract. That is. Oops. There you go. Right. As you can see, all the roots stuff, there's something there. Looks like a jar there, and a the bottle there, can you see it? So. Pull these out first, eh? It is so dry and crumbly, it's unbelievable. Right, that is one of your, what is it? Plain bulk ink sort of things. Well, it's a start anyway. Right, let's look at this. Oh, I shouldn't really be doing this with my fingers. That is just a, a big old jar. Right, we'll leave that one there. This one here, Looks a little bit more interesting to me. I can see that neck on that, and they sometimes are well, something a bit nicer. I'll shift on this out of way. Oh, it's broken anyway, look. And you can see up here, it just everything just crumbles away. It is unbelievably dry. So, yeah, right, let's get it all dug out. And um, make a go of this, eh? Lovely. Quite a large ink. 
Yep, yeah, nice. Things are starting to come out now already. I knew they would here. Right, happy digger. Keep getting heartbreakers like this here. Right. But, oops, you can see it's broken there, look. But, this one here looks a little bit more promising. And if I turn you upside down, can you see that? I can see something there. I think it's got a crack in it now, but look at that. So, let's pull him out anyway. Can you see that there? Yeah, you can see that. I've got a feeling it might be broken. Or it's not. Widely green. That's a different one. I've never seen that type before. Pity it's got some cracks in it then. Lovely shaped lip on that then. Look at this. Just have that come out of the ground. Now it's stuck solid. Now I can see a little bit of the label there, but usually what happens with these is when it's like this, they come out nicely preserved. So, oh, there you are, that's tight. Oh, here we go. Wow, look at that. Shows you. I know you're reading it back to front, but it reads. Can't read one, so it. Balls over castle, so it's um, balls over red plums. We have a beer here. Just trying to put my camera down so you can see him. It's getting a bit dark now. Maybe I was close enough anyway. Oh, stupid thing. Stay. Oh, it is um, Henry Powell, Plumber Street. Can you see that? I'm moving around here a little bit. Lovely. Quite weak in Boston on that one. Usually they're a lot stronger than that. But, uh, yeah. Nice beer anyway. Put in that. Just have another beer. Birmingham this time. Found this. It's complete. I'm like, what is it? I think I've just figured it out. That's actually a water thing for a bird cage. That bit there would have gone in between the bars, and um, it'd have been a little water thing. Probably had some sort of little brass fitting that went in there that, that filled it with water. But it's quite a nice size. Not something you find all the time. Yeah, very unusual eyes. Different. Starting to get dark a little bit now. I've got some air, see it? Nah, I know my look, it won't have anything on it. No, <laughs> told you, didn't I? Oh. Absolutely plain. Now I say that's like a mini marmalade. I was, uh, I was hoping it was going to be an ointment, but it's a bit too big for an ointment, that, I think. It's a, uh, yeah, cute little mini marmalade, anyway. Something else here. Now, I've just heard this chinking on the end of the shovel. <laughs> just my look. 
completely plain. No way. Nice little pot there, isn't that? Yeah, better view of it now. Lovely little stony, actually, that is. Can't see no maker's name on it or anything. But we'll have a proper look in a bit, anyway. So the key, I'm guessing this is going to be a hose source. Yeah. There you go. Right, there's some coal down there, I can feel it, so let's try and get whatever is down here. It might be a big stone, but it, it just feels solid. So you never know, it might be something else yet. I don't know what this is. I can see ridges on it, so I'm thinking it's some sort of big ink. Wow, that's a beauty. Hang on, I'm just going to take my gloves off a minute. That's really nice. Just trying to show you the remaining of the label before it goes. I mean, there you go. That's a beautiful bottle. Nice size, nice colour. You know what I mean? Got everything going for that. That's really, really nice. Right, we're just going to clean it up a little bit because I'm getting eaten by bugs and things here. That is a beauty. That is really, really nice. Look at the bubbles around that. You see that? That's a beautiful, beautiful bottle. It makes it with all these extra ridges, especially around the lip. In fact, that's still got the cork in it. Oh god, and that is rock solid and I've just smashed the end off that. So it's actually got the cork still in there. So I'll, I'll have to poke something in that before I bring it home because it's got something in it and I don't want it to go in the bag. But uh, yeah, happy with that. It's the first time I've found something nice for a while. Beauty.